America. You're watching expression. Oh, let's see, expressions in black. Uh, all right. Portland black. the worst KG on the West this Coast. This is a sponsor presentation Apple. created by Hard and Hustle Production. This is a book about racism, for reals. And yes, it really is for kids. Yeah, this is the one that started it all. On a whim, back in 2018, I wrote it for my kids. I'm proud of who I am and the color of my skin, but another biracial my skin tragedy. Color, people aren't always nice to me. Having a blended family, raising. <laughs> <laughs> he should be executed. All he could think to do with his life is to stir up racial animus and shit. What I mean, white... what what is he? He looks fucking white to me. He's biracial with a white yeah, he, woman. He's biracial. This, this this is the worst thing in America. He should be executed. <laughs> Yo. Man, you're, you're hell-bent on that bad point. <laughs> you hate them worse than Fisher hates the Juice Crew, man. But this is... No, not no that's not true. In America. <laughs> this well, is evil what he's doing, though. It is evil. evil. Like, like, listen, you're living a great life. This guy's living a phenomenal life. He's living a life better than 99.5% of the people on the planet. Racism. You, you had the Plessy versus really? Ferguson... You had the Plessy okay. versus Ferguson, who was one sixteenth black, and yeah. he was, and and they they made a Supreme Court case about it, and they said, "Oh, that's one drop." I mean, what can you oh, say? I didn't know. I didn't know. They did did we watch uh, Jabba Rant and his father uh, two days ago? Remember that? How good he lived. He lived better than ninety yeah. percent of Americans. Yeah, this is crazy. Man. He is the worst man in America. This biracial man. He needs to be executed. I don't know. Did you hear that slam poet last night? Oh, he needs to be killed too. Okay, as long as we're. <laughs> Sorry, let me move along. This is a book about racism for reals. And yes, it really is for kids. Yeah, this is the one that started it all. On a whim, back in 2018, I wrote it for my kids. I'm proud of who I am and the color of my skin, but. Because of my skin color, people aren't always nice to me. Having a blended family, <laughs> raising white kids and black kids, they were already navigating race, culture, color, and especially the idea of racism. So if you see someone being treated badly or looked down on because of their skin color, call it racism. Oh, God. This guy's never been treated badly. He doesn't <laughs> look black at all. Like if I saw him. Life. Hey, Fisherman, I'm black. I've never been treated bad. Right, I know, but I'm just saying, like, he doesn't even look it. Like, <laughs> he don't look like it. He's like, you know, I got black kids. Now the fuck you don't? The only AF, people that have ever treated me AF badly because we're scared are uh, some people. What's up? AF, my guy. I, I know you don't want to say where you're from, but this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, this is, this is, this is bad. This Salute. is fucking embarrassing. Salute this man should be Bailey, executed. Bro. And have a fucking nine millimeter pull in his brain right now. <laughs> Salute the Lord Bailey. She says, sent to your Gmail. Patriot twins, Africans trying to put out a fire and more. LOL. Got no words or solutions. Wicked getting out. Um the, I know the video she's talking about with the Africans trying to put out a fire. Yeah. They're just like throwing rocks <laughs> at a wall. <laughs> Oh, you sent that to me. Um, what's your face? Um, um, Laura, Laura, you sent that to me. So let me let me see if I can can find that. Whoa, whoa. Ock, um, Ock. The, yeah. the call. The, the reason I love this channel because Ock is from a Sunman neighborhood in DC, and he knows that this is all bullshit. Yeah, this is this is not only just bullshit, man. This is like like how do you treat it? Poorly because you're uh, black. He's he wrote a book about it. He's getting paid. He's got this white girl <laughs> stepdaughter reading this story. She's been around him. She spends time with him. Uh, I'm sure she's never seen someone treat him bad because he's black. It's just so fucking weird, man. This shit is so fucking weird, man. It's so embarrassing too. Cringy man, and it's like Colin made this shit normal, man. Colin Sean. Well, he was a bitch ass nigga too. He's the second worst human being after Martin Luther King. 
Jesus. Christ. You're watching Expressions in Black me, on KGW. Me, this um, is a sponsored presentation created by. I am in the color of my skin, but because of my skin color, people aren't always nice to me. Having a blended family, raising white kids and black kids, they were already navigating race, culture, color, and especially the idea of racism. So if you see someone being treated badly or looked down on because of their skin color, call it racism. I wanted them to know that it was always cool to come talk to me. And that's really where this massive light bulb went off in my head to go, I think every kid maybe needs this. And not just every kid, every grown up, every parent, to create this bridge and this connection with the kids in their lives so that they're having meaningful conversations. We knew we needed to create a whole new, not just door, but pathway. Look at how many fucking books this psychopath has written about this shit. And if I saw him in the streets, I would rob him. Golly, look at this shit. He's... If I saw him, if I saw him walking with that hat, I, I would rob him and take all of his money. This guy is going to get paid He's the face of, uh, when I go somewhere, I get treated bad because I'm black. In this connection with the kids in their lives, so that they're having meaningful conversations. We knew we needed to create a whole new, not just door, but pathway when it came to who got to tell their stories, what those stories got to be about, and, and who they reached. My name is Jelani Memory, and this is Expressions in Black. Jesus Christ. He's food. Welcome to we a kid's California. company about. This is our headquarters in Portland, Oregon. And we make books, podcasts, videos, apps on challenging, empowering, and important topics. Starting a business, we went from zero to in seven months, had 12 books and ready to launch. And in a lot of ways, Jesus Christ, he's pumping this shit up. He's we, he, He's got to be stopped, man. Well, that was damaging to do in 20 years. <laughs> But no, here's the thing, I, like I said, he, he lives in white circles. Oh, definitely. He's, look at he's how not he, around Sun Man. Look how he's he would get robbed and shripped if he was in my neighborhood. For the, the production alone, the, the efficiency, the production, everything. Of course he's not around Suns, man. Have you noticed, like, every time you play one of these expressions in black segments, it, the face of it is all, like, the whitest looking quote unquote black people you've ever fucking seen. Always. It should not have worked. A kid's book about money, about cancer, body image, creativity, anxiety was a part of the first crop. We press go on our little Shopify site and the orders start coming in. There was something about the attraction of it, the importance of it, and the obvious necessity that we should be engaging on these tough topics with the kids in our lives. Here's a book that we've written less than three weeks ago. Generally, it's a, a one and a half year, two year process to go from let's write a book to it going to the public. We're literally doing that in less than a month. I think what you have in somebody like Jelani and what we're trying to do is that we can tell our own story. Oh God, him too. Like he looks like he's a little, oh God. Doris. We've done it with icons. Ah, like I'm sorry. Martin, Taboo from the black. But these are the type of people, like I said, they they talk about the black experience so much, but they've never been in a black neighborhood in one day in their life. Yeah, it's, 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 it's disgusting. Taboo from the Black Eyed Peas and kids like Orion Jean, who, by the way, just won Times Kid of the Year. It's about disruption. It's about why do we have to do it the way that it's always been done? You know, I've yet to talk with a CEO of a large publisher, which I've chatted with many, who looks like me. We can take for what the hell? <laughs> The fuck? They, they look like you more than uh, what you look like them, bitch. What is he? Did he just say that? They all look like you. Yeah, that guy looks like me. <laughs> hey, he pulling, he pulling some Sean King shit. Done. You know, I yeah, y'all, y'all, some people got to get your act together. Y'all getting fleeced like a motherfucker. Yeah, definitely, man. This is, this is. Between Colin Kaepernick and all the other ones. Yeah, no, you don't have a goddamn... Thing, no. look, look, can I explain, though? If he ever came into a summer neighborhood, he would get robbed and stripped. Yeah, but he's he's nah, grifting nah, and making nah, money nah. off y'all shit. He wouldn't, though, because they'll think he white. He'd be, 
It'd be good. Gliders well, no, 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 no. He wouldn't. Like I was saying, we we said the wicked sent him in his eyes. He would get stripped. Nah, I'm talking that. about that man. That man can run all through uh, some man neighborhood with some, Which one? with short shorts. Anyone in the whole well, he gotta, country. He got to play gay. No, nah, that glider, that glider, not gonna get touched, man. I, I, that's nah, that's different. different. No, no, that license some man will get touched in no, my turf. No, listen, listen, listen. That 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 man, that man will be fine because most of the areas are gentrified. But even beyond that, he's like he's like a tree. He's like a a, a light post. Some men, some men ain't they only beef with each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean they're rock, they're like carjack them or something. But I'm just yeah, saying, like if that's that what man, I'm we, we, it, we, no, no, no. We, I'm just saying, I'm just talking we about will like take something from him. No, no, no. He's not gonna get robbed just walking down the street or walking a dog. Usually, that's a well, rarity. No, if, if he, if uh, no, I, I was gonna say one thing. If that guy ever came to my neighborhood, he would get carjacked. Yeah, I mean, but you can't predict the carjack. Carjack yeah. is our, uh, yeah. our, like you know what I'm saying. It's just oppor- opportunity. Like it's an opportunity though. It's like a small window. If we saw Are someone like that it? with no beard, we would jack him. Nah, all right. I mean, I I just see I see this shit. I know I know the how it goes, but yeah, yeah I got you. Where yeah, you I from? Mean, you from you a said what now? Too right, Cook County. I'm from Chicago. Oh yeah, so so oh yeah, it's the same as L.A. or California. No, nah, nothing's nothing's like Chicago. No, Chicago's <laughs> regular shit in the pool pot. Yeah. It's different, man. Chicago dudes react; they re, they react quickly, man. I know in LA they they plot and all the other stuff. Like these dudes, like the impulse control, man. They they all about the the action quickly. New Orleans is the murder capital of America right now, so Chicago ain't shit right now. All right, I mean, all right, man. It's a murder zone. <laughs> let, let, let me move along. Let me move Let me just move along so I can get out of this this damn sun bladder that it's always been done. You know, I've yet to talk with the CEO of a large publisher, which I've chatted with many, who looks like me. We can take flyers on things that other companies may back away from. And to be able to do that with folks that look like us, that have come from where we've come from, and it just leads to new angles on topics that we think we all know that come from a completely fresh perspective. As soon as I decided to go start, this crazy kids book publishing idea around hard topics. Finding talent's easy, because we all walk around with these stories. Remember when I first got to see the book, how like fired up I was? I was like, damn, this is cool. (laughs) So it was my job to go find voices, and especially diverse voices, and pull these stories out of them. I think what I realized and discovered in my journey, no matter where I went, I had to figure out how to belong. When you belong to yourself, what the fuck is he talking All these yellow fuckers talking about shit they don't know. Yeah, this is crazy. Hey, all right, and, Chicago, Chicago got a gym for you today, tonight, man. What is it? Which one? Chicago got a gym for you. 21-year-old female, uh, Umbrito, uh, shot and killed. We just did you it. did that one? That's regular shit, yeah. That's regular yeah, shit, Chicago. She was, she was, she was pregnant? Yeah, they threw money on her. They threw money on her after they shot her. Yeah, you crazy. said that's regular. That ain't regular, dog. That's regular <laughs> fucking shit in Chicago. Seven huh? months pregnant? Are you crazy? A so. regular, a regular on Brito in Chicago and in a in a, a bug town or a little village. What are you talking about? Yeah, you don't know who you're talking to. All right, go ahead. Uh. Let me move along. Just as you are. With no faking or pretending, you'll always belong, no matter where you are. I think that's a powerful thing for us to realize, that yes, we might have been writing these for kids, but it's for the kid within us all. Emotions are weird. That's weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Anybody so notice that they're selling yeah, a book, of- probably for 10 or $15, that has about 30 pages and maybe 200 words in it? Yeah. Uh, my kids, too. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's two lines on each page. It's, it is written by fucking goddamn weird ass black people. Like none of these black people are like popping, man. It just fucking these black people, they're liars. All these books are written by liars. They would never fit in with like normal black people. Right. 
<laughs> Why'd you ever take so many grown ups uh, have come to me about this book and said that they loved it, that they want the adult version. And I'm like, that's the gag. <laughs> this is the adult version because we're still working on our inner child, right? I think everybody has a story, but most folks don't know how to tell it or what to say. So we are experts on talking to kids, being honest with them, talking up to them, not down to them. Focus on the type, layout, color, and design to treat kids like they're smart. They notice good design when they see it. They don't need colorful dragons and mountains to be engaged in an interesting story. Family are the people you give a piece of yourself to and look out for. When they hurt, you... So you couldn't find a black woman, Mr. Blackity Black, Blackity Black, 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 in this whole fucking country. You couldn't find that a black woman. That nigga's a bitch, bud, for real. This is crazy, man. It's insane. He's At not least, a black man. He's a biracial. It, but it would have been, it would have been, it would have helped the street cred to like show up with like a sister that looked like fucking um, Angie Stone or some shit. It just like. Yeah, where's his brown him. sugar at? Yeah, he like, got shit, man. That nigga's fucking biracial too, man. Fuck that nigga, bud. For real, that nigga, he's the worst man in America. He may be one happy, quarter. You are happy too. With this job, this work, this business, I've been able to embrace the full me and be a storyteller. And now our books, our podcasts, our videos—they've gone around the globe, hundreds of thousands of copies sold, and getting to bring all these different voices together with this idea of the next generation deserves better. It's thrilling work to do. It's important work to do. And I don't think I'll ever stop doing that work. You will when you get carjacked and get your brains blown across your fucking dash. Oh, he's a hero. They'll still uh, not believe what he did was wrong, though. That's mm. the thing about it, though. Race missing is the worst thing in America. <laughs> okay, You're man. watching expressions. We, we get it, man. Jesus Christ, man. You scaring me now, man. I'm hoping that you don't do nothing bad to no biracial person. You're watching Expressions in Black on KGW. This is a sponsored presentation created by Heart and Hustle Productions. <laughs> See how lost that black lady was sitting on that tractor? It was like a fucking rental car. She didn't know what to do. I've realized over time that for me, that morning is the most important to just be myself and be comfortable in my space. A lantern, the candles, it's just part of what I do and I don't know how I started. When I could hear the birds or the rain or whatever, I wanted to be as present in that moment as possible in order to do that. I didn't want to turn on my lights. I didn't want to let the rest of the world in yet. Having the opportunity to tell stories through clothing and something that my people are rooted in just really transformed my life. The clothes that I love is something that is really meaningful to me. I want something that when I put it on, I can embody what that is as a homage to like our another hair, another hair ambiguous, culture. probably not look black on the street person. It's really, really important to me and bringing it into this outdoor space, which is something new. I do genuinely feel like I'm providing people with something that's really good for them. My name is Jocelyn Rice, and this is Expressions in Black. I love to read history of Black folks in the outdoors. One of the stories that I read that I love the most is the story of Joseph K. Bowler. He created this Jim Crow traveling kit. The stories of folks that you've never heard of still have to be told. It consisted of a pair of old mechanics coveralls, a little stove. He wasn't allowed in hotels and he would be sleeping out in the wilderness. So his connection is very different. There's so many great books and there's so many people that have already told stories. Why not tell them in this way? It might be Harriet Tubman's story or it might be Angela Exodus story. It's kind of that connection to a story and ancestry and the outdoors. 
the artificialness of the world has always kind of bothered me a little bit. Like just walking outside and putting my feet in the grass, really bringing it back to the very, very basics. It's just so incredibly peaceful and it is nothing but mine in that moment. It's inside of all of us, but because we have so many other devices around and so many other things going on, like we don't pay as much of attention to it as we used to. That's the glider coming out in you. I, I thought black people important. were supposed to be afraid of trees. Right. She's such a glider that she's just like, she's, she's so, like, she's got tea and shit burning and all these fuck, like, everything about her screams glider except for the words coming out of her mouth. Salute the strong and grand. He, say, he says, um, that glider privilege disappears when these kids take a walk down MLK Drive at night. Scott Adams was too nice with you. Yeah. And the audio cassette player from yeah. the eighties. Yeah, all the retro yeah, right. She's one of them morons that listens to scratchy old fucked up albums so she can feel the music, man. Hey, she's a she's a biracial and she should be executed on sight with a nine millimeter. <laughs> I couldn't get my ideas through. They weren't understanding the different connections I was trying to make. Understanding that nature and outdoors can mean different things to different people. For God, she's so white. She is like, look at her. Just nature look. and outdoors can mean different. <laughs> That's a white woman, man. Different things to different people. You're right, Fisher, man. We're getting fleeced, man. Yeah, y'all should be mad as shit. Y'all should be bitch slapping these people around. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, shit. For her, her first name should be white. Her, her middle name should be As. Because this bitch white as rice. Getting outside. I wanted to make sure that I was figuring out a way to create something that had meaning in it and that was for a new purpose. So the do-rag seemed like the perfect place to do it. The only thing that's marginally black on her is she's got bad hair. So she's Kinky, kinky hair. hair. Where? Where do you see kinky hair at? I see real kinky hair, like it's pulled tight, but no, those are baby hairs. That's not kinky it hair. Create man. something that had meaning in it, and that was. You see me? This is kinky hair, man. You told me. Listen, she's bought them. She's making money selling do rags. So you got the other biracial making money selling books on black oppression to little kids, and then this woman is making money selling do rags because she's black. It's like a grift. They're all. Everything, just like Colin Kaepernick, they all are making money off of being black. It's like yeah, the, the Rachel glider, Dollars all. It's like the glider within them can't help it. Like they they see something. Yeah, they see the niche, the niche in their market, and they jump on it. <laughs> who would who hey, would pay a dollar hey, to hey, see hey, this hey. bitch is twenty three and me? I want to know how much of her came from you know Nigeria. This is like a. Uh, uh, logical think of point justice panel right here. So this fucking broad right here, she's a queen in the hood. Yeah. She, but Colin Kaepernick grew up in a neighborhood with 90% Caucasians. This girl probably did too. For a new purpose. So the do-rag seemed like the perfect place to do it. Well, the, all these bitches are game members right here. So she's basically making money covering up black people's hair. Not helping them grow it. She's covering <laughs> up game members' hair, though. It seemed like the perfect place to do hey, it. Hey, hey, stop back. I'm sorry. What city is this based out of? This is Portland, man. Okay. So all of them are Portland. Right? Yeah. You see she the rare rag, right? right? Oh come on, man! Please, please, man! Please, everything ain't. It, let's not. Let's not go there. Man. Everything For conspiracy. Man. A new purpose. So, the do rag seemed like the perfect place to do it. I think do rags are. And all the models are blackity black. Like they look like fucking like they just like she snatched them out of the fucking. Congo Basin is and they're not getting a cent from any of this. Well, that's how I tried to tell you. I, I'm sorry. This piece is more of one of the active wear pieces. 
the patterns, the stitching, even how you wear that piece. You can wear it 15 different ways. So if your hair is like it is right now, how do you like to wear it? I usually tie it around so my puffs can show. Oh, like I like this and then that on the top. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it has such a- Look at her hair. Look at her hair. It's her ass. Hot. <laughs> can I say something though? I yes. live in this region. This is all mm. gang affiliated attire. Uh, what what colors are those on that do rag, sir? <laughs> well, no, you see her rings that they have five stars on them. That means blood. You saw the ski mask uh, for the other woman in front of her. All right, man. Let's let's just let's let's just <laughs> let's, let's take it down a notch, man. Please, man. it's terrible. <laughs> what did I, I miss? I Look at you, the man. five star in the air rings, though. Well, all. all all stars have five stars. Hey, let's, she, let's, she a little girl. You see. remember have they have the uh, hair clips and shit? They be rocking that with stars on them and all that. It ain't nothing different. Let's just take it easy, man. Please, please, man. I think do rags are a form of self expression. This piece is more of one of the active wear pieces. The patterns, the stitching, even how you wear that piece, you can wear it 15 different ways. So if your hair is like it is right now, how do you like to wear it? I usually tie it around so my puffs can show. Oh, like how like this and then that on the top. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it has such a rich history to it. It is for us and it's so personal to black folk. Well, the fuck is yeah. us, bitch? You can wear this in a gym. You could wear it just out for a light hike. I mean, and that's the beauty of a do right. A too. light hike? She's a sister, not a glider like you. She's never going to take a fucking light hike. You fucking glider. Folks, you can wear this in a gym. You can wear it just out for a light hike. I mean, and that's the beauty of a do right, too. It's just that it's so different. Hiking through the concrete jungle. You're going to do that day. Yes. I want to see more black women designing outdoor apparel. Like, we just don't exist there. You still don't exist there. <laughs> You're fucking. Why did she wear a do rag? Does she look it like she's gonna? Man, does totally. she look like she's gonna hike anywhere except the local McDonald's? And she doesn't wear the do rags. She's got her hair out and flowing, and just listen. She, oh, uh, she's got somebody's hair out and flowing. You know, <laughs> her hair. This is Mayo. Hair. That's her hair. She's white. <laughs> no, she's not white. That that's a fucking uh. Uh, a mixed breed sun nah, sister. This this is this woman is white. She's if, if she's probably five percent sun. More black women designing outdoor apparel. Like we just don't exist there. Let's get over here to the center a little bit. There you go. I want a full online. Like I want rain jackets. I want fishing gear. Like I want the whole. You want to be rich off of black people. You want to come in with the. We need more representation. And then they be like, all right, we're going we to make a quota. It got to be a black person, and then it's going to be you. Yeah, <laughs> but I would say fishing gear for black people, really? You're trying to sell that to gliders who want to support black exactly. businesses. Exactly. exactly. You're going to sell like five of those things if you sell them to black people. Oh. thing and black folks can say i purchased that from black that's the color pattern though right we've done this before yeah okay see so you know what you're doing <laughs> at the end of the day i'm still making something look at that her somebody's got to go out into the world in and it matters how i'm thinking about that product that's a white person look at those hey, lips I, uh, uh i'm sorry please please, please 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 with the gang stuff but you see I, I'm trying to be patient with you, man. Please, we get it. They're gangsters. We get Look it. Look at the nose. Every single time, we don't need to tell us because this is a show. This is a whole this is a, Hebrew. This is a whole. This is a, this is a whole. This is a whole white person, man. Man, she about as black as Meghan Markle. <laughs> Where the lips at? Where the lips? At? You see these? You see these fucking soup coolers, man? You, you that that's part of being black. It ain't just this fucking skin. You gotta have big lips and fucking nappy hair and shit. It's a lot of it's a it's a lot of shit that goes into it, man. Not just to quote fucking... to quote Bubba. I was born with big gums, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. What the fuck is this? I guess with their pants sagging, they could put the pole in the crack of their ass. <laughs> I just wanted to set good intention. 
every piece I make, I bless it. I put in my best energy, like, cause it's me making it. A little good vibe. <laughs> the connection to the culture is so white, man. <laughs> man, she is totally stealing from Native Americans right there. Burning For sage really? over her shit. I bless it. I put in my best energy, like, cause it's me making it. Give it a little good vibe. The connection to the culture is you. Like, all yeah, I can get a good you. deal on that stage. <laughs> the intention is very different than what a big company has, but the hustle was exactly the same. Jesus yeah, Christ. the grip is the same. You're right. Yeah, all these expressions in black are fucking. God damn. Ah, we got it. We got to arrange a music festival for only biracials, and then we're going to pull up with Abrams tanks and we're going to shoot all of them. black on because all biracials have to be executed, right? From yeah, Hartford. you're right, man. These these art and hustle productions. Being light-skinned is a different way to move through the world. It is a different experience, period. We're what able fuck, to man? the spaces and then hold the door open. Oh, isn't that that therapist we saw with the no, father and the daughter? Her. That's not her. But yeah, oh, it looks like her. She's about like 200 pounds light. But what I'm saying, like, it's not that bad, right? No, it's bad, I, I but see I mean, the comments we right get now. it. They talk, I know the biracial in the comments are going crazy right now. Yeah, we, we get it, though. We get it. They should all die, but I mean, it is that bad. We we give it to you that's that what, bad, but we don't need to hear every two seconds. No, no, we don't need to hear every two seconds to say, yeah, thing. who who hurt you, my guy? God damn. We get, it. we get it. We get it. You're right. You're right. Being light skinned is a different way to move through the world, it is a different experience, period we're able to slip into spaces and then hold the door open. Oh AJ has God. always been AJ. She has always been somebody who is a force to run. Now she's what well, you could tell she's like, you can see the black. In she's her. at least half. Yeah. I mean, she was probably more than half. 1980s light skin. You see, yeah, you see the hair, like her hair. It's probably nappy like mine, but she's like put some shit in it. To make and the nose, lips. the sun nose. Yeah. Reckon with. I graduated from Benson High School in Northeast Portland. I went to Xavier University in Louisiana. I was a full time debutante, which really helped shape my interest in community service. Ever since I've known her, she's really kind of been a little stubborn about getting done what she truly feels needs to get done. Work-wise, like my background is in marketing and development around fundraising, and I hated it. I've always wanted. I just wanted to be with my people. I hated being in the boardrooms with all those white people. I wanted to be down with my people. Look at this. Look at this. Shit. <laughs> she Look was the she... only. She was the only black person in her class. Look at this shit right here. Oh no, she went to Xavier. Yeah, that's a black. She was not the only black person in her class. That's a black she was the only I mean, white person in her opposite, class. Opposite, yeah. I mean, in high school. I mean, in high school. Yeah, she yeah, hated probably. working for somebody else. Which mm -hmm. props to her. She's built her own business. She can set her own hours. She didn't have to meet a corporate schedule. Props to her. But it's the glider. She that all these gliders that are pretending to be black. Their behavior screams glider. The only sun thing about them is the words coming out of their mouth. That's the only thing that's sun about them. Their fucking their ability, their their drive, their stick to it in this, their play, their fucking ability. You you know all those dark skins that are around her, like secretly are like, bitch, you you not black. No, nah, they all oh, no, they probably some of them it's a mixed bag. Some of them probably think are like black, yeah, she's my sister. And then yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, like some of them think that, but it's, it's some that don't. Black people are crazy. Only man. I think like that. Black people are crazy, man. I wanted to do this kind of work directly for my community and be able to live off of it. And so during a pandemic, I accidentally created that job. 
When I think about community, I think of a circle. We're raising money for equity. We're actively giving. And the word circle is encompassing all of the things that we are doing. We have a food program where we are buying produce from black and brown farmers and giving that produce weekly to black and brown families across the metro. Black and brown, black and brown, black and brown. So We've started other we little no projects, correlation. including the plant jam. And it's just an ask for white folks to give plants to BIPOC folks. <laughs> ask to give white. So she's, listen to how crazy she is. Families across the metro area. We've started some other little projects, including the plant jam. And it's just an ask for white folks to give plants to BIPOC folks. Black, Indigenous, people of color. You're Your providing uh, reparations to community for yeah. plants. Amazing. So we have them all right here. Also, like hanging. Look at all the different mixing and crates, corners. There's something everywhere. It's just a really beautiful way to like create community care. Wait a and minute. It's a way to teach and. They are selling white people plants, saying they're going to give them to black people. Yeah. White. How many times do you think cool. that fern been sold, bro? A thousand times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Gladys is Gladys are crazy too. Gladys is fucking retarded, man. That whole I'm about to sign off, though. I'm person. sorry. Go ahead. All right, man. Take it easy, man. These, these, these listen. Don't man, kill nobody. I'm, I'm looking in the face <laughs> of a fucking Viking, man. I don't, uh, you know, what I'm saying I'm not looking in the face of an African anything. An Arab, nothing. A Berber. I'm looking at a right. fucking Caucasian. And not for nothing, but I bet she uses a lot of sunscreen. Yeah. Gracious. We're practicing sharing things that we have with other people. No strings attached. Like, both these women are black, right? She's got a perm in her hair now. She got. She put a perm in her hair to make her hair look a little nappy. You did it with a plant. Now you can do it with money. You want a little box? Yeah. Hey, uh, one more thing. Shower, having the I mean, right actually, team. It's a, a mommy on like glycolate. Hey, uh, who was the guy that said, don't kill nobody before you leave? Uh, was that a... Uh... Shaggy. Shaggy? Hello? Yeah, what's up? You're the one that said don't kill nobody before I leave. Yeah, a little lighthearted joint. What's up? Okay, yeah. Uh, do you live in the Summit area? Um, I'm not even. I'm, we ain't gonna entertain that, man. I'm All right, keep thank it you. pushing. Bye. <laughs> you didn't even say shit, but I right, whatever. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Has yeah. made all of this work possible. We really do care about the families that we serve and we want to serve more families. Let's put those here. So when people say, this box feels like it was packed with love and care, because it was. So I've been in the nonprofit world now for about seven months. I was the executive chef at a restaurant here in Portland. Due to COVID, I pivoted and made the transition to doing fantastic work for the community. This week, our protein is eggs. Our so she's black too, right? She's blazing. <laughs> She's, these people are crazy. He's blazing. Is every person that does this show, are they all lighter than me? Or is that just these three? I think, you, I think. I, I, I mean, there's some that are like, like me, but those people are batshit crazy. These are like the normal ones. Uh, like, it's just, it's, it's just a lot of them. Put it like this. It's probably 50 50. 50% 50 like motherfuckers that look like this, and then 50% motherfuckers that's like other shades from light skin to dark skin. Potatoes. Every box gets one of each onion. So this is with one of our CSA food directors. We've got cabbage, squash. Greens, Brussels, and it looks like we've got some peppers as well. Perfect. Liz has been one of the most amazing parts about building this. <laughs> <laughs>
the details in food systems and food delivery is not my skill set. It's really exciting that I get to learn. She's an amazing teacher. Awesome. Have a great day. Thank you. That's all the black dude, the real black dude. We all we good for is um, loading up the truck. We can't do nothing to crunch no numbers and SKUs and um, inventories and export. <laughs> we, just, we just load the truck and let the white lady uh, run the business. I enjoy doing this work because I get to connect with my ancestors in another way. Oh, so she's a Native American. This white lady's a Native American. So we got two white ladies. One's black and one's five dollar Indian. <laughs> yeah, five dollar Indian. I mean, you glad as that y'all are. She's smart. about as uh, Indian as uh, old Pocahontas. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all glad as a smart. Yeah, y'all Elizabeth smart. Warren. Y'all show y'all intelligence though. Y'all do like y'all when y- y'all 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 put on these 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 roles and y'all do shit that regular people from those races can't do. Okay, no fucking uh, every fucking Indian is on the reservation drinking and playing a fucking fucking Russian roulette. I mean roulette at the fucking casino and shit. It, no, it, you had the Russian roulette part right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but these 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 are these are two white ladies running this shit. One's 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 playing a, a Native American and one's playing a black person. So especially during these tumultuous times, it's nice to tap into that and do something my people have been doing for a long time. Getting to build with a team of black women, black femmes, and indigenous women. Oh God. Salute to um Steph D. Steph McCoy, man. She she's um purchased the um plant to fix racism, man. Thank you for your contribution, Stephanie, man. Salute to her for sticking it out through Cool Cat's fucking obsessive flirtation in the chat. Thank you, Stephanie, man. Uh, if anybody else wants to buy um, a plant to um, fix racism, man, just, um, you know, you know what to do. In Portland, or Oregon. execute all the biracials. We're creating community healing. We're creating jobs. We're celebrating. It's we're making money off a of grift, and the money we're fucking making money hand over fist off of a grift. Yeah, and I'm no, not paying these deal. girls shit. <laughs> right, I don't like guilt. There's too much in front of you to take a hit now. EGC's work really is about creating dignity and care and love. And there's a lot of food programs that happen in our city, state, and nationwide that are horrible. They're just expired food not poultry specific food and they do not so inc- said she even dances like a glider <laughs> <laughs> i wondered if they did it all slow like that because she didn't have no rhythm <laughs> yeah they probably did they probably had to do it yeah they tried to edit it they had to edit it to on the beat and shit yeah they asked her to dance and then they saw it and they were like oh we gotta fuck with that <laughs> let's just slow this shit way down <laughs> yeah they're gonna show this one friday night late <laughs> Salute to um, Doug G, man. He says, hi, Oc. The people who buy into that bullshit plant and food story are why people are leaving Portland for the suburbs. <laughs> yeah, man. This is... Not culture-specific food. So what, they can only eat fucking corn if they're in, in or something? Yeah, like you gotta eat oak green greens if you're black. And white people don't have a culture, so y'all just starve. No, Ooh, we gotta eat Dr. Sebi's, uh, Dr. Sebi's diet. Yeah. So we're at Headwaters. This is like an incubator program. It's helping the farmers get situated as a farmer, teaching them stuff, offering different resources. And so we're going to go out and see Little Sun Farm, one of the indigenous farms that we work with. It's so pretty out here. Hey. Hey. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Brayden is one of our indigenous farmers. She's from the Pablo tribe growing a lot of foods that are from her background, from her culture. They are edible. <laughs> it's so good. It's super sweet still. Right? Mm-hmm. The frosting. 
That's the Native American. Actually, does that? Does it taste like dirt? It's just on the outside. <laughs> so, hey, uh, Native American tribes own 10 million acres in the United States. Yeah, reservations. Yeah, they don't need no land given to them. They need, they, yeah, this is fucking. And they ain't shit. farming that shit. Right, they're not farming on that land. Exactly. Yeah, has a whole they don't have cattle on that land. They're not raising bison on that land. Just uh, the ones them. around me have a lot of cattle on the land. Oh, that, and bison. That's good. Good for them. It's good. Welcome along on the on the journey. <laughs> Hopefully, our program will help more black and brown farmers and indigenous farmers. Black and brown. This is these. This is black and brown. Ooh, look how that color. These are my favorite. We really believe in giving people food that we, as a group, would want to eat. And so, on the same tip, we are paying market rate, which is really awesome for the farmers, so that they can actually have a chance of surviving. Wait, and I'm taking this home and making them. She's not taking her fucking mask off because she like fuck. It, I look like I'm. I'm a whole glider. I can't. I can't even pass. So I was gonna leave my mask on and tell it and keep it telling people I'm part of the Pueblo tribe. <laughs> Let's do business in a way that's sustainable for everybody. Should have brought my fancy basket. I see why people wanna be out here working because that view is amazing. Bullshit. It's right, house time. It's been really cool to get feedback from the families having access to farm fresh veggies is helping their health, helping their wellness, supporting. Yo, this one right here, hold on. Farm fresh veggies is helping their health, helping their well. Yo, that's a glass. <laughs> Take the mask off, bitch. We want to see your face. She got strawberry blonde hair. I'd love to see you just run in there. I'd love to see you run in there and just rip that mask off all their faces. Like, gotcha. <laughs> she'd be like, she'd be like, no. Oh. Gotcha, I bitch. The, <laughs> I pulls up in the Scooby Doo mystery van, rips that shit off. You thought you'd get away with it too. Yo, yeah, <laughs> meddling kids. She would meddling glider. Yo, she would charge me. Yo, she would she would she would file a police report on me. Man, give me a rest. <laughs> charge with assault. Wellness. Supporting black and brown farmers, supporting indigenous folks, supporting women-owned businesses is the root of our work. So we get to support people that look like us, that move through the world like us. It's magic. Yeah, our it is magic. Who are it's true now magic. The way you get to change races at a whim. Our ask is different. The way that we think is differently. The way that we show up is differently. Like This is the recipe for amazing things to happen. My name is AJ McCrary, and these are my expressions. McCrary is the gladderest name ever. Jesus Christ. These people are sick. He is clearly not black. <laughs> Sick. This is a sickness. And she's fighting racism in a place that never had slavery. <laughs> and not for nothing, about 10 Mexicans have had that farm cranking out some profit in about three months. Yeah, this Yo, is, no bullshit. This is wow, man. Wow. Fuck. What's up, man? Did you hear about the fake uh, Nigerian professor at Cambridge? Nah, well, it's a fake Nigerian professor. Let me let me just um let me let me play this video that I got sent. Man, I got sent the video. Um, I need to um go ahead, go ahead um um put it in the back chat. All right, put the um video in the, the video you talking about. Put it in the back chat for me. So I can get to it. 